Hello everyone. So it's Wednesday the 8th of April. I make that lockdown day 15 and this is video number 6. Um, obviously we've now had a few days in which to absorb and digest the announcement about how exams are going to be calculated or how your grades are going to be calculated this year. Uh, there was a flurry of excitement after that and a whole slew of emails coming through. Those have since died down. Uh, so either you've digested and absorbed that and you're happy with it or else you're skipping me and you're going your elsewhere with your questions. Uh, do please keep them coming to me. If there is anything I can help you with, I will. Um, as we've made clear, essentially the, uh, the guillotine has fallen on your academic work. Uh, no more academic results or no more academic efforts can be taken into account. Uh, the um, argument from Ofqual being that that will be more about the circumstances than perhaps about uh, your actual academic journey. So basically the guillotine dropped uh, 27th of uh, March, 20th, 27th of March. Um, and uh, we will be making our calculations over the coming weeks. Uh, we will submit those to Ofqual. Um, Ofqual will then, in, calcul in uh, combination with the uh, examining bodies, come up with a formula that will reflect uh, your final grade or that will generate your final grade. And uh, as has been made clear, uh, the overall grade distribution will be in line with previous years. So um, it, it, is it ideal? No, of course it's not ideal. Uh, but actually, it's a whole lot better than I expected. Um, so um, it is what it is. And uh, we will be uh, making those calculations and submitting them to the board uh, towards the end of May. Um, we will answer your questions, but please don't come begging to us uh, to know your grades or to plead your or to make a special pleading. Um, your teachers know you extremely well. We know how people tend to develop over the uh, Easter holidays and into the summer term. And we know that everybody cranks up the effort. So we will be taking that into our calculus when we're putting together our uh, thoughts. And uh, I certainly know that in the politics department, we've got many meetings coming up uh, to thrash out these results. And we'll be taking all sorts of uh, things into account. All the things you've contacted me about and many things that you haven't contacted me about, we will be building all of those into our calculations. And uh, be rest assured that we will be taking our deliberations extremely seriously. But I would hope that that would go without saying. Um, the other thing that goes without saying is that we will be looking after you over the summer term. And uh, I, my, my my expectations were massively exceeded uh, by the number of you who have already responded to the task that I just set yesterday. That's an amazing response. Uh, we're nearly halfway through uh, and uh, we got about uh, 60, 80 responses uh, into that task. I'm not planning on setting many tasks to the upper sixth uh, in the coming weeks. But if you can respond to that, go check out the task. Uh, that I've set there. I'll link off to it in this particular video. Um, do reply to that and be as honest and upfront as you can. Uh, we, we have no interest in wasting your time and we certainly don't want to waste our time wasting your time. So let's let's be uh, grown up about this and tell us exactly how we can help you uh, over the next few weeks. We have some great ideas. There are things already underway uh, that are very, very exciting. Um, and um, yeah, we, we're going to help you uh, any way we can. So um, Answer, answer that response or make your response to that as quickly as you can uh, and that would be great. Uh, the other thing that I'm going to link off to uh, today is um, a presentation from Martin Lewis. Now you may or may not know Martin Lewis but he is um, he goes by the name of the money saving expert. I use his advice all the time uh, certainly in terms of uh, things like insurance and credit cards and um, general uh, financial planning, he is second to none. And he is doing a, uh, an online session today at about two o'clock through Facebook uh, on student finance. So if you get this in time, uh, I urge that you uh, log in at two o'clock on Facebook. I'll link off to it again uh, in the description from this uh, video and um, get on there, two o'clock student finance. You're gonna find that very, very useful indeed. Um, I am gonna finish there. Let's just keep these communication channels open. Keep emailing me, keep in contact with your tutors, whatever we can do to help you uh, through this period, uh, we will. Uh, again, it keeps down to very, very simple things like uh, stay healthy, keep thinking, get some exercise. I'm gonna be going out for a bike ride later on this afternoon uh, within government guidelines, of course. Um, and uh, you know, just help around the house. I mean, I'll be brutally honest, you know, everybody has their difficult moments and uh, yeah, you know, Oscar got uh, a bit of a telling off this morning, but we need to keep these communication lines open. We need to make sure that we're communicating at home, that we're talking to one another, uh, that you're getting contact from outside the house as well through the through the Internet. You know, talk to people outside, uh, outside of the uh, sequestered uh, environment. Make sure that you're uh, 
um, keeping talking, that we're communicating, that we're staying sane, that we're getting as much exercise as we can, that you're getting time outside if you can. If you have your garden, get out there, help with the gardening, get digging. If you can volunteer, if you're in a position to volunteer in your community, then please do, because all those volunteers are urgently needed. But do keep these communication channels open between me and you and your tutor and the school, uh, and we will get through this. Um, as we've said time and time again, this too shall pass. But what we want to make sure is that when you come back and you reflect on this time, that you see it as being time uh, put to effective use, time to put to good use. And um, we will help you with that as far as we can. Um, last thing, really, just next rugby shirt. You can see this is a... Uh, uh, a South African Stormers shirt. Um, not much more that I can say about that other than it's one of my favourites. Um, bought it my first trip to South Africa many, many years ago. I suppose the only other interesting thing is that um, some friends uh, saw me wearing it in the garden and um, they uh, they thought it was a uh, Saracen's top. Um, and so they bought a Saracen's uh, onesie for my uh, newly born son, Oscar, at that time. God, my goodness really dates it right okay i'm starting to wobble now uh so i will stop and uh i will wish you all the very very best do keep talking to me do fill in that form do log in to martin lewis this afternoon i'll link off to all of those things uh but that's it floyd out and speak to you soon bye now